I'm going to show you how to wash and condition and dry and comb your heat defiant wig. Let us define heat defiant fiber. It has so many names. Sometimes people will call it heat defiant, heat friendly, um, smart heat, uh, what else might it be? Heat friendly, they'll say that. And the truth of it is, unless you know the wigs and you know, you know, been doing this as long as I have, you're thinking, okay, heat friendly. Does that mean it's friendly to heat and I can just do whatever? A lot of girls from the South have called me, one girl from Louisiana, and she said, heat defiant, does that mean it's not gonna be hot and I'm not gonna sweat under it? Louisiana, I can understand. Heat defiant, heat friendly, heat whatever, only means that this fiber has been processed so that you can heat set it to another design or another style. You can make it straight, you can make it curly, you can make it whatever. Heat, the one I have on. This was basically kind of a straight wing, you pull it behind your ears, looks like the PTA. Well then this weekend I used medium sized rollers and put them all over and I wanted it to be just kind of boom, you know, pick it out and go. That's what you can do with Heat Defiant. That's the beauty of Heat Defiant. The truth of it is many and many more designers are designing wigs in the Heat Defiant fiber. So we need to get used to it. You need to learn how to do it. I have, my gosh, I guess I must have an hour's worth of videos on the Heat Defiant. How to set it, how to do all of that. And I got this, now what? So go to my YouTube and look under Heat Defiant and you'll find all those. But when you get a Heat Defiant wig, the one thing that I have found Heat Defiant does is it frizzes a little bit more so than the plain synthetic that we're used to. And the big news is with your Heat Defiant, you must, you must, you must use a comb. We usually, if, if we're on our job right, we include one of these combs with it so that you can just slide right through it and that's how you style and comb your heat defiant wig. You can use that, you can use a wide tooth comb, or you can use even a bigger comb and they all work beautifully. Now, there, if it's really, really frizzed badly, the same products that we use for synthetic, because this is really heat defiant synthetic wig, is the whole term. I take the detangler. Yes, here's the detangler again. Now, in the other video, I'll show you that you spritz on detangler, comb it, apply heat with a roller that we have, and the frizz comes right out. I'm just going to tap it a little bit with this before I wash it. And then I'm going to take the comb. And remember, we always start at the bottom of where the fiber ends and you work up into the body of the wig. That way, you're not putting a lot of pressure on the wig. All of a sudden, with that magic detangler, I tell you, it's the best thing in the shop. Um, all of a sudden, see how nice and smooth it's getting, babe? Even just with the detangler and it's even dirty. So now I've combed it a little bit, and most of the, of the uh, frizz is gone. So now we're going to put it in the water. It's the very same shampoo as for synthetic, and you're going to put maybe a little bit bigger than a dime now because we've got a short wig. If you have a really, really long wig heat defiant, like Raquel's stop line or, um, oh, what would be another one of hers? that would be really long seam stealer. Then you might want to use maybe two of those, or two and a half, because those are really long wigs. Just a little bit more. I'm adding a little bit of water in my make-believe bathroom so that I can show you. Then we do the same thing as the synthetic. Immerse it, bring it back and forth, push, 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 push. Now it's all under the water and the shampoo's there, the water's already dirty. And I walk away, 10 minutes. 10 minutes is over, I come back, I pick it up, never ever remember, ring, 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 no, no, no. I'm gonna squeeze it, baby, squeeze it, squeeze it, 
squeeze it. There you go. We're not roughing it, we're not twisting it, we're not sm smushing it, we're just squeezing it gently. Now I go to my cold water, and I like this one because it's got a high neck on it. When I'm at home, I use my tub because the water power is more forceful, especially for long ones, because then they can fall right into the tub. Now, we're gonna rinse it off, just like we did the other one for synthetic. This is it, this is it. <laughs> and then after we rinse it, I'm gonna squeeze it. Again, you can squeeze it on the outside and the inside. Don't forget to rinse the inside of your cap too, pumpkin. Now, I turn it outside, right side out. I'm gonna put it on my towel, and I'm gonna roll it one time. Are you seeing this? I hope, I hope, I hope. And then, I'm gonna take it out. Remember, we hold them upside down. Why? Because we want all those fibers to fall away from one another and each of them to get their little drink. Again, the most important thing, the conditioning. Now we're gonna recoat this flat surface and it's gonna make it tangle less. It's gonna give it moisture. It's not gonna be dry. I usually do about nine or 10 with the conditioner for a short wig. And I know this sounds silly. You might wanna go outside and do it because it does throw water. I want you to hold it by the back and go woof, woof. <coughs> and then it's aerated. So all of the fibers have got the conditioner on it. Now I'm just gonna go outside. I'm gonna lay it on a towel. I can lay it on a towel. I can put it over a Scott towel holder is perfect because it's not real big and it won't stretch the fiber. Laying it like this is probably the best. I lay it like this and by morning this will be dry. In a couple of hours this would be dry. Then when it's dry, just like the other one, this one is clean and dry. Remember, comb, only comb with heat defiant. Now, this wig that I've done is a little bit straight. You can see some motion because it will go back to whatever style was in this wig when you washed it. This heat defiance all curly and wild. If I took it off and washed it right now, when it dries, it will stay like this until I heat set it again. I hope you get that, guys. We gotta get up to the time, so we gotta learn how to do this heat defiant because it is, it is the fiber of the day. Have a great day. Bye.